I'm Dwayne Ross of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. For Friday, November 3rd, our scripture is the 43rd Psalm. Vindicate me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. From those who are deceitful and unjust, deliver me. For you are the God in whom I take refuge. Why have you cast me off? Why must I walk about mournfully because of the oppression of the enemy? O send out are your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God my exceeding joy. I will praise you with the heart, O God, my God. Why are you cast down, O my soul? Why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my help and my God. Holy hills, O send out your light and your truth. Lead them and let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill. Verse 3. When traveling, one often finds pullouts on the side of the road that provide exquisite views of the surrounding landscapes. Generally speaking, the higher up one travels, the more expansive the view. Elevation naturally leads to breathtaking experiences over river bluffs, across prairie lands, above cityscapes, or on mountain peaks. For the psalmist, the elevated landscape, God's holy hill, inspired exceeding joy and praise. But elevated terrain also provided refuge. The psalmist feels the oppression of the enemy and needs to get to higher ground, a tactical advantage for body and soul. God's word of light and truth leads the way to the holy hill of God's presence, where refuge is mingled with divine hospitality and hope is renewed. For the psalmist, that hill was likely Jerusalem. But for us, the holy hills are all the places that situate us within the grandeur and safety of our God. From these vantage points, we join in the song of joy. Our prayer. God of hilltops, we praise you for the glory and protection of your love, today and always. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.